from Seoul, Korea, and welcome to GSL CODES round of eight. How are you doing today, Artos? Tasteless. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, the round of eight is starting today. Yeah. Which means it's the best day of my life. I love round of eight, man. The round of eight is where it's at. We're down to the single digits, Tasteless, and look at this bracket. Coley, guacamole. We got innovation, symbol, curious, party, Tasia, Solky, MC, and Roro. It's a pretty insane top eight, to be honest, and it's pretty yeah. reasonable as far as races go. Look, we got two Terrans, two Protoss, four Zerg, uh, four Wings of Liberty. You know, this at the very end, pretty good. Yeah, let me let me echo what you just said. Um, this is the last Wings of Liberty tournament yeah. ever. Yeah, this is it. I mean, it, it, we're gonna essentially crown the greatest Wings of Liberty player before you retire this and go on to better things, Heart of the Swarm. That's right, and there are a lot of players here that could take it home. Been playing a lot of Heart of the Swarm lately. Oh, that's I've all I do. I've messed with Zerg a lot. I love the Swarm host. You mean the ground broodlord that close? Yes, yes, that's what with I'm talking more about. range that comes out at Layer Tech, is that what you mean? Yes, I must well, have Well, call it what it's called then. <laughs> Uh, and by the way, we don't mind you're still uh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they're all right. As it turns out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is really exciting. Uh, I'm going to say my pick right now, and I'll, I'm going to ask yours in a second or two. So I'm going to say Innovation is going to actually win this whole GSL code S. I think? agree. I agree. I really, after watching that last round, it just, I, I thought, I'm like, well, I could see Squirtle or Life taking him out. They're both sure, out yeah. of the GSL now. I don't know that there's anyone left that can take him. To be frank, I actually could see Innovation 3 0 in Symbol. I could see I'm it too. Not even Symbol's fantastic. That. His style doesn't seem to match up right. As it, far as uh, and I've said this before if you've been watching uh, previous Code S's in this season. Um, he looks like Flash from StarCraft 1. Yeah. Yeah, he's, Obviously, uh, Flash and StarCraft 2 so now, on but top of it. And, it's uh, perfect. Yeah, his round of 16 was really the most impressive Terran play I've seen in StarCraft 2. Uh, you know, his round of 32, though, was not that good. It was, it was, it seemed like a not nearly as good as that, which is weird. Maybe it was just because he was well, playing against, like, uh, you know, some different players and just didn't feel yeah, it quite right. And, but, well, you know, Symbol, uh, I kind of feel bad for him because this is the guy um, that we thought was going to win Code S for a while. Yeah. And um, if he, he was get against, knocked out round of four, round of eight, round of yeah. four, stuff like that. Uh, and so... Now we got uh, him up against Innovation. If Symbol wins this, I don't know if he can be stopped. If yeah, it, Symbol. If Symbol wins this, that's a very good way to put it. Because when I look at him, I think of someone that is a Protoss crusher. So like, if he beats him and then Parting wins his match, I'm like, well, Parting, you're you're I mean, in trouble. You're very good PVZ, but Symbol is a Protoss crusher. So and I do feel like if Innovation wins this um, this match and has to face Parting, I don't know if Parting could beat Innovation either. Well, Parting's going to have to bring his ultimate mind games, his best control, and, I don't know, something else special there, too, because that will be tough. Uh, pretty sick matches, though. Both best of yes. fives. So make sure that you go tell everybody to watch this right now. Yeah, a lot of tell people Tell everybody to tune in. Remember, this is the last Wings of Liberty code ass. We're in round of eight, so we got another day tomorrow of round of eight. This is basically all that matters there, it's round for of Wings of Liberty anymore. Yeah, this is, is the Coda's. only thing that matters. Yeah. Um, and, you know, this is really where history is made. I mean, we saw... The end of StarCraft 1, yeah. uh, not long ago. It was still going on a little bit when StarCraft 2 was out, but uh, it was amazing to see those final matches. Yeah. And we're about to see it. You know, the, the time is now speeding up in a way for RTS game uh, lifespans. So now we already have the expansion pack coming out here. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is the last big StarCraft 2 tournament. Yeah. Uh, here we have Innovation and Symbol. That's right. Now, uh, just taking a look at who they beat already. Of course, we had uh, each of them playing against... Well, actually, Innovation hasn't played any Protosses yet. But uh, he's taken out quite a few Zergs, as we see. DRG uh, multiple... Well, one time, and then the other time he lost, I guess. And then Stefano, he's taken out twice. Good matches all. Uh, you know, he's he's looking so, so strong. Symbol, of course, looking very good as well. But I don't think of him for his ZBT. I always think of his ZBP. And as you no. can see, as far as Terrence, he's beaten. I mean, it's Marine King. Ranking's obviously very good, but I think there are tougher Terrans that would uh, ideally be in that list that people yeah. would beat to kind of say that, you know, his little resume for this uh, tournament is going to be more impressive against Terran. So this yeah. is going to be probably the hardest Terran Symbol has to face off against potentially the hardest player right now in this season. Could be. Could and be. We're uh, moments away from getting this game going. Um, yeah. um, by the way, I want to point out that the whole bracket 
uh, is players from ESF teams versus players from KESPA teams. Yeah, every that's a great match. observation. So Absolutely. we could have like an all KESPA team top four. We could have an all ESF team top four. Who knows? We'll see. It's going to be something else, man. Yeah. Um, well, as you can see, here's the map lineup. It's not like what we had in a round of 3 to a round of 16 where the loser picks. Yeah. yeah so these guys have a lot more prep time. Yeah. Um, and, you know, this is really uh, what makes, you know, best of fives or best of sevens what is so exciting because, you know, you have these maps already laid out. What builds do you use and in what order? Yeah, and this looks kind of hard for Symbol as well because as we saw there, uh, the last map, Icarus, we haven't seen very good Zerg vs. Terran play there really. Yeah. No one's really figured that map out for ZVT that well. So uh, he's going to want to win it 3-1. Yeah. You know, that's that's going to be Symbol's aim basically. Yeah, so I mean, this is... Ah, oh, I can't wait. You know, when when do you cheese? When do you do your know, timing builds? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and occasionally we see players who have to shift gears from what they initially had planned. Uh, in that, you know, best of five, for instance, because of, uh, you know, somebody throwing a, a, a wild card in the middle and then they yeah. kind of change, um, change it up. Now look at this. This is really cool. Their, uh, their uh, win rate by game time. This is actually an awesome looking chart. Look at innovation. If it goes super long or uh, super short, always wins. You've got to yeah. kill them that 15 to 20 minute period. And, you know, that kind of makes sense for the way the race is. Simple, of course, has more games under his belt, so his stats are not quite as impressive in that regard, but still quite good. All right, our map is going to be Cloud Kingdom. As you can see, Innovation closing his eyes moments ago, going over his game plan in his head. Uh, there's a lot on the line here. This isn't easy for anybody at this point in time in round of eight. It's not like... Uh, you know, last year, or two years ago even, where it was pretty clear there were some players who were going to be dominant and others who weren't, yeah. even in the round of eight. Now it can be anybody's game. But again, innovation looking so strong. Yes, he is, certainly is. I do expect him to be able to take this series, and this if, first if, map if, is going to be important for that. If Symbol wins this, it's going to be an upset. Now think about that. I just said in a sentence, if Symbol wins this, it's going to be an upset. How often has that yeah. ever been said and been true? Seriously, I, against anybody. Yeah. I don't think you can really consider it an upset, but I think stylistically speaking, and from what we've seen in the last round, innovation seems seems to us at least godlike. like he is. Yeah, he is godlike. Um, and of course, again, remember if you're new to GSL Code S, we do not. Uh, it's not a group play. We're in bracket play. Best of five bracket play. Mm -hmm. So the winner of this best of five is going to move on to be the first to be in the round of four here and be that much closer to the finals of the final Wings of Liberty. GSL Code S. Nice clapping, Taste. <laughs> I was clapping to the beat. That was for you. That was for your eyes only, Artosis. In the bottom right, we have our Terran player. <laughs> Impeccable play. Let's see how he does this time around. He is. Estesso, innovation. And in the upper right, we've got our Zerg player. I can't believe I'm saying he's the underdog, but I think most of you would agree here. Let's see how he does. He is... Ajuk Shimbar. Now, Jesus, I know you've been playing a lot of uh, Heart of the Swarm. Yeah, man. But have you observed any of it yet? You mean like watched... Uh, like, have you been in a game while it was going on? No. Okay. No, I've, been, so, I've actually been grinding so much. Yeah. There... There's all these cool upgrades right now, and we actually, Wings of Liberty got the patch so that you can use them. And it okay. is insane, because we're now using this uh, in Wings of Liberty. Because remember we walked in, I'm like, why is HOTS on the computer? I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, Wings of Liberty got this patch too. So this is cool, man. I'm excited. This is sick. We can check so much on this. Yeah, look at that. No, I hadn't even messed with that, actually. No, no, you can, you can check anything on this, on this uh, new way. Which is funny because it makes me feel lazy because uh, I played StarCraft <laughs> 1 for so long. I remember uh, my brother tested me once. Because in StarCraft 1, when you're observing, you have to like click on things to see the supplies and stuff. Uh, he had me come into the room and he showed me a mini map and told me the matchup. And yeah. I told him how much supply both players had. And were you right? Yeah, pretty every much single right. time I was right. That I was within five back, supply every back, time. Back at StarCraft 1, yeah. It was, it was, actually, if you guys want to something really interesting, um, uh, originally in StarCraft 1, observing didn't exist, so what people had to do is uh, if you entered a game, everybody agreed that uh, one guy would go Terran and he would lift off and kill all his SCVs and people yeah. would give him vision yeah. and allied victory. That's right. That's actually how old we are. Yeah. Uh, 
And occasionally you, know, you get a guy who's in the game as an observer and he's talking too much, and then people just go kill his command center, and yeah. uh, he would be forced out of the game. But that's actually how it works. That's true. Sometimes yeah. people would, uh, would lag and not leave and stuff. Fun times, man. But it has come so far that there's a production well, tab that I can click on to go to things. It's like, what? You know, you know what's actually funny is back, and this is also before there were even replays, guys. I remember, uh, you know, you'd get into a game, and let's say, I remember I got in a game, uh, Orky Android. Yeah. Um, great player. I wanted to copy his build. I finally get to observe his game. You know how crazy my brother and me are going with a notepad and pen yeah. trying to copy every single thing because it won't tell us exactly what his build is. We have to basically watch by eye and be like, all right. Yeah, this is before replays, man. Yeah, before replays. Replays used to not exist. Well, <laughs> that's actually why it's interesting. You have somebody like um, in StarCraft 1, Guillaume, who played a random. Yeah. I mean, it's like, well, you're going to be the best under these circumstances. You could, you could play random and actually... Uh, come up with builds without replays before the game was figured out and actually went. It's but now crazy. things are so different. Indeed, it, they are, and uh, better, I would say. Oh, much better. I prefer it now because now it's much more accessible. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I might not be as hipster anymore. I have to burn my flannel glasses, but your flannel glasses. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> cool. But at least you know now it's it's a widespread thing and not yeah. a few cave nerds like us in our no. in our teens <laughs> to try and battle cave nerds. Features. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at this game after that beautiful reminiscing period over yeah. the amazing UI that we have now. <laughs> sure. Uh, Symbol's gone three hatches before pool. <laughs> so he has been uh, ultra greedy, but it's, it's gonna, fine. It's going to pay off. Yeah. And he's going right into a roach horn. That's going to make him safe against whatever uh, innovation is going to be sending out at him. Well, this so. is a smart move. Um, <clears throat> innovation uh, is fairly well known for going to command center yeah. early on. Yeah. Uh, so what Symbol's saying is, well, you know, odds on my side, I go three uh, hatcheries first with no defense. He's probably not even going to bother attacking me because Innovation's a guy who generally doesn't try to end the game right away. He's somebody yeah. who wants to win in the mid game and the end game because he's good enough that why would he bother trying anything else? Why would he bother try taking a risk? And that um, leads to an opening here for Symbol where he's now allowed to take a risk of his own because uh, the odds of Innovation doing anything early on are so low. Exactly. Well, we do have these Hellions coming out. We're going to try to harass some of these drones. And it looks like they will get a few, but we are going to have Roaches out pretty soon. So this is probably his only chance to do significant economic damage. Five drones, actually. Really well done for the cost of one Hellion. Really, really well done. But, you know, Symbol uh, making 11 more <laughs> to fill that right in. And uh, he's, he's prepared so well for the late game, which Innovation is now preparing for as well, getting a couple engineering bays and that third command center already. So this is already looking like it should be a big, big macro game. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. Well, we're already here. So. We're already here. No, but I'm saying like for the <laughs> end game here, man. Yeah. Oh my God, it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, no, we've it's gonna had be insane. we've had epic long games recently. Remember that game last week? It was how long was it? It was uh, like it was an it hour. Was, and it was 20 longer minutes. than I think Caldor cast. That's all I remember. Yeah, no, it definitely uh, was. Despite that. what he says. Yeah. Yeah, trying to uh, trying to roast a lot of drones here and actually oh, doing, doing a good job. Decent amount of damage. Nice angling though now with the drones. Uh, and I think that's probably going to be the end of the Hellion Harass. Nice observing by Legend. This uh, All of our games are observed by Legend. Sartail Legend, he does a very good job. Yes, he certainly does. Uh, it's a, kind of a new thing in game observing uh, for digital sports. Yeah. New Frontier, uh, but already kicking ass at it. No, it's it's pretty fantastic. And, uh, you know, with all these tools that he has now as well, the production tab and things like that, never going to miss anything. You know, I, I do remember games in StarCraft 1 where I would not catch where they, like, hit a tech building. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Even observing, I didn't know he was going yeah, DTs. Yeah. How could that poor Terran ever know? <laughs> but, yeah, anyways. Uh, you know, he's killed quite a few drones. He's killed 13 drones so far. So, uh, Symbol's taken some pretty significant damage. And two more hatches on the way. Holy crap. He's going right. two more. So he's going to be five be hatch on three for a while. He's basically going to try to t take out the Terran's third in the timing here, it looks like. Yeah, it does. Um, where, I'm sorry, where is the... Oh, okay, the fifth hatch is in the uh, main, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One, um, there's a macro hatch at third and main base. Yep, so. yep. So, okay. Um, well, we'll see if Innovation's going to be prepared for this. If, if this doesn't work for Symbol, he's going to be in an awkward position where he's going to have to get a sixth hatch off of four bases. And that... I mean, depending on your unit comp, you can sort of make that work, but yeah. it's not... It's kind of 
kind of a fugly base setup. <laughs> well, he's certainly going to have a lot of Zerglings mixed in there. The Roach speed, Baneling speed, and Zerglings speed all going to yeah, finish sure. at about the same time. Really cool build by now, Symbol. Do a vision check for Miratos. He, yes. he scanned the uh, the main, so he sees a macro yes. there. Has he seen the, uh, the fifth hatch, though? Uh, he has. Okay, so he assumes it's four hatch. Everything yeah. looks pretty kosher right now. See, that's actually a really good point, Tasteless, because if you see that fifth hatch, suddenly you're thinking, oh, I better build bunkers, because this is only for production. It's not like he's going five hatch drones. You'd have too many drones way too quickly. So yeah. this is, if he saw that, as you said, obviously, obviously an attack. But as is, there's no siege mode yet. And that's going to make this yeah. more dangerous if he actually hits before that siege mode is ready. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't think he is going to hit before no. siege mode, actually. He's a little bit too far away. He's going to have siege in time. Now, he might not attack immediately here. Actually, never mind. He will attack immediately. Okay. I'm going to stop talking. He will attack immediately right here. And here he goes. Siege mode is done, though. And there's a siege tank on that high ground, but rolling into the natural. Oh, beautiful oh my siege God. tank shot. Nice shot there. Indeed it was. And the Baneling's starting to go up the ramp a little bit. Do hit quite a few Marines. And Symbol just walking into the natural, dealing nice. a lot and of now damage. He knows she's done enough damage. He can't do any more. He just retreats. Yeah, this is this is getting to the point of diminishing returns. Now he's probably going to loop around and go to the third. That's what I would yeah. at least suspect. By the way, supplies right now, 78 to 124. Yeah, he killed 31 SCVs with that. It was really, really, really well done. And here we go again, right as the mules land, too. Uh, but it looks like he doesn't have enough banelings to be confident. He doesn't know if there are siege tanks on the high ground behind the minerals or not. Yeah. So. And if there are those banelings, you don't really want to run them in the line. Or they'll die so, so quickly. As he's doing the fancy little micro here, so he can have one hockey, but not hit that banelings. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Uh, so. You know those intense games are eventually like, ah, oh, right, this is all going to be one hockey right now. I can't deal with this. Well, innovation starting to get some good micro on, starting to get cost efficient during these uh, against these units rather. And Symbol, of course, does have a pretty superior supply, pretty superior economy as well. But he hasn't taken a fourth base, which is making me mildly nervous for him. Well, it's almost like there's a um, you know sand is running out of the hourglass here. Now, of course, uh, innovation can get away with stuff like this because there are no investors out yeah. uh, to fungle the medevacs, and that's one of the reasons why we saw innovation move out with a very tiny army uh, competently. Yeah. Well, we do have that medevac coming out. I keep feeling like, why isn't he using the boosters on that? <laughs> <laughs> if but, he had uh, Widow Mines, this never would have happened. <laughs> well, uh, you know, we do have the plus two carapace on the way, the plus one melee attack as well. Those infestors about to pop out here. So he is going to have fungals to help out against drops, but still drops going to be very useful. All right, regrouping now. You can see he's uh, just hugging this uh, little choker. Oh my Ooh. god, innovation so good. That was such good targeting. Yeah, that was a nice little shift right like there. Oh my god, wait, is there a Burl Baneling mine underneath that, uh, with that area where the army's moving up? Wait, 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 what up there? What is that? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Oh, Watch. oh, oh man. Does he like not know? Cause that, no, that, he's, he was clicking on that. Because he, he actually had that before. Yeah, no, he was he was ready to do it, and innovation moved and he didn't do it. Symbol is watching as closely as he can. You know, it is hard to set those off, but uh, yeah, a lot more infestors in the way. And finally, a fourth base is going to get taken here. Uh, the creep spread isn't super fantastic, but that's because Symbol focused on hatcheries well, he focused as opposed on larva injects too yeah. for those macro hatches. He didn't oh, have a ton of creep tumors out there. All of his minerals went into actually producing units as opposed to getting any extra queens. He was yeah. as queen light as you can possibly get with such a build. And that uh, marine so armor is pretty good. That marine just wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> Might run away from that like three times. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, let's see. Uh, you know, there's always a chance that uh, innovation is going to poke outside of his base. He sees that, by the way, with um, the broad uh, baneling over there. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. And oh, oh looks oh. like he uh, he scanned scan, and killed yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so. That probably did not kill anything, unless he just happened to have some units over it. Too bad. Uh, really good move by Symbol, though. That's It's really smart to just set a few of those up, because that's going to make innovation for the rest of the game fear bailing landmines Bailing landmines weren't as popular in Codas for a little while. No, People they, they sort weren't. of stopped doing it. I mean, there's they're really, hard to they're, do, right? They are, but there's almost no reason to not do them. Yeah. The amount of damage you can do. If you get Burrow, you should have some Burrow bailings. You don't have to do yeah. a lot, but just a few here and there can be... Gigantic game changers. All right. Um, subpar fungal there. Not getting most of those marines. He's now backing up. Yeah, we do have nine infestors right now, which is pretty healthy overall. 
A lot of banelings. Good number of roaches still left to help tank some damage as well. And the medevac's going to come up here and try to drop the second. Mm -hmm. And, well, he might just fly by right into that main base. And as long as Simmel doesn't see that, definitely can do a lot of damage. Oh! Oh! I eh. thought that was going to do more damage than it actually did. Yeah, he only got like five or six SCVs from that. We do have right. a little drop. Gonna be Sorry, go ahead. That's all I was saying, two yeah. <laughs> Now, he's got fungals on those medevacs. That's actually the real story here. Oh, uh, he let him get away. Yeah, there was there was just a bit too much splash damage in there for him to do you it. Know, I think there might be too much going on right now for Simple to keep up with. There I mean, look, 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 look at the little shot we got right here. Well, that attack was a bit of a failure for him, Simple. He lost a lot of units there, including some infestors. So that's an issue. Yeah. And well, mostly it was his banelings. I mean, innovation's too good at targeting down the banelings. Yeah. Well, Innovation is starting to move out now. He has quite a few Siege Tanks, which is going to make Baneling and Fester type play pretty hard to hit him with. We're going to have to see a flank here by Symbol, but Innovation kind of knows what's going on. He's well, spread pretty well. I, I like that he's expanding to the same side of the map that he's pushing. Yeah, this has become very popular on this map to actually expand to this location. It's Well, it makes sense, especially as a Terran against the Zerg. Yeah, yeah, it does. You, you can't really get counterattack that further expand. You, you just you just turtle up the third like a crazy person, <laughs> just like a crazy person, like, like a cray cray person. Uh, here we go, Tasteless starting to come in from both sides. A beautiful flank starting to occur. Uh, uh, innovation. That actually, I think it's going to be enough. Oh, just crushing that group of Marines. And wow! Wow! Whoa! Symbol. Jeez, I didn't think simple. it was going to be that. The simple needs to calm down, man. It sounds like he was listening to our commentary about innovation being way better than him. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know he's he to chill out. No, he's yeah. uh, Symbol is playing just fantastically. He's had such a great plan the entire game, and he's executed it very well. And now he's going into that Ultralist tech. But you know, when you go into the Ultralist tech, Ultras aren't a kill weapon against Terran. They're a weapon to get you so far ahead that you'll win if you do everything right. Right. Uh, you know, they're basically for crushing armies. Like if this army of innovation actually comes out then the Ultras are going to kill it with all of these other units. Now, don't like, forget, that's it, it. there's one player that's very good at playing um, from a disadvantage, it's Innovation. Mm. Him and MC. <laughs> yeah, you know, Innovation is definitely going to know what to do when he sees exactly what's going on here. Now, we have a lot of Banelings coming in, going right through those Fly Depots. The bunker really as well. Really nice. Now, he's going to hit all these SCVs, all of these SCVs. How many uh, workers killed? 60. 60 workers <laughs> and killed. And more on the way, maybe, Tasteless. That is absolute craziness. 49 SCVs saw it, though, so Innovation continues to make SCVs knowing that this is a problem. Yep. Um, how many drones are mining at Symbol's fourth? Oh, uh, let's take a look. See, it's okay. It's not full saturation, but okay. it's, it's, it's reasonable, so that his economy is pretty good. Now, we do have a lot of tech labs being added right now by Innovation, which means that he's going to start to get his Marauders out, which is exactly what he needs to do. He needs to start punishing these, these Ultras, but hold on, this is an absolutely beautiful move here by Simple, but actually those Marines you know, do hide. The, the tanks actually uh, really uh, tanking well. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, but seriously, they actually really did tank well there. Uh, and now those supplies are even... If those connected, that would have been... Yeah, that would, no, it would have been brutal. completely obliterated. Yeah. Um, but, well, okay, I think he's going to have the Banelings to take care of this, though, in a second. But we'll see. I mean, look, if he gets his hatchery, it doesn't have damage, kills off enough drones, uh, Innovation's still got a shot. No, he's definitely still got that shot, as you say. And, in fact, we do have symbols starting to move. you got to watch out with this army, though. If he loses his Infestors, if he loses Ultras, then suddenly this army is not you so know, good anymore. he's not got the best hockey set up there. You can see some armies getting fished in there. Mm. Some parts of the armies, I guess I should say. Um, more tanks coming up here. Marines coming up now. The planetary's done over there at the fourth, so that's actually a pretty good staple uh, to kind of hold him together. And that, uh, you know, the hatchery is getting. Okay, actually, that was smart. He actually ran away preemptively. He was sure that eventually the Zerg was going to attack into that. Mm. He's scanning the army. <laughs> is Symbol going to lose his fourth? He just did. Yeah, his fourth is gone. So, you know, despite playing a, a very solid game up to here, Innovation has done what is needed to be done. God damn, Innovation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the thing is, what? the longer we get into the game, the harder it is to make this army of symbols worthwhile. Yeah. You know, if you're focusing a lot on Banelings, that's not a good long-term unit. Do you think unit. he could have gotten some Broodlords? I think that would have been better to defend than Ultralisks. I think with the tech route and how he played this game, that Ultras were probably the right choice. I don't think he okay. had the distance nor the the economy to really do Broodlords yet. 
You know, I think he wanted to do Brewlords probably after the Ultras, but we'll talk about that in a second because we know this huge attack incoming. And kills uh, off a couple command you know, centers. Something, but that was a lot of Banelings he burnt on that. It was. It was. But, you know, killing command centers is pretty good. And those are some pretty nice fungal tasteless. All right. Those uh, were some pretty damn good fungus. They really were. Uh, well, right now, um, Symbol's taking his fourth at the center right. Um, nice. Remember, taking, he doesn't have it just yet, uh, whereas uh, Innovation's fine. Yeah. Don't forget, Innovation's had 3-3 for a long time, whereas 3-3 just going to start finishing up here for Symbol. They're care pace first, and then the melee. Now, Innovation's unit composition is just getting too good, so Symbol has to keep up moves like this, where he's just running in and sniping things and getting out, because his army is not going to stand careful. up. There's it. not a lot of lanes in that army, and the Ultras are not particularly good without Zerglings with them. Yeah. No, in fact, he's going to continue to chase this, because uh, he can actually catch up to it with Stim. He needs to burn out some fungals well, there's, all. There's just there's nothing that scary about that army. It's not big enough to, you know, Ultras want to be in a gigantic army in, in an open space. Uh, especially with a flank, if now, possible. Notice he's been scanning a lot. A lot of players keep dropping mules, but Innovation realizes if he just tracks the Zerg's army, he just counters it. Mm. And, and he's actually going to send a that's, that's exactly what he's trying to do right here. We do have Symbol running in. He wants to get rid of this planetary possible, but Innovation was too quick. If his army was still down near what you normally see as the fourth base, uh, he could have sniped that planetary in a matter of seconds with that army. But Right. Uh, unfortunately for him, man, this is this is excellent zoning by innovation. Yeah, I mean, uh, right now, guys, what the Zerg, <coughs> excuse me, what the Zerg wants to do, about beyond anything, is counter attack into uh, the Terran to keep him from attacking him. But, but innovation is basically blocking him off at every turn, and now uh, he's going to go ahead and get the third. And I know it's, it's the hatcheries he loses that's scary. This is not a base that he's mining from. Mm. Yeah, he's barely getting any gas from here anymore, uh, as is. But, you know what, those two macro hatches, those are things that come in handy and... Uh, it's, just a, it's a hiccup in his production. Yeah, yeah. So we do see uh, Symbol trying to come uh, down here. It's kind of single file right now, yeah, a little bit he messy. he seems to be a little bit, uh... not sure about where he wants to go exactly. Well, we do have these Ultras coming in towards this third base once again. Can he knock it out? Oh, some really nice uh, fungal growth going down, slowing him down. But the problem is there's no anti-air here for Zerg, so you can just lift off the buildings and he's fine. Yeah. Well, he does lose uh, some starports. Yep, did not lift those off. And, yeah, and you know what? He still has plenty of SCVs. That, oh, God, this is not going to look good, Tasteless. You know how long it takes these drones to kill plus three armor Marauder? Long time. Long, long, long time. Um, well, you know... He kind of stopped the, the uh, Innovation's third base from mining, but that doesn't really matter that much at this point in time. Unless um, Symbol gets that planetary, I don't know what exactly Symbol can do. I mean, Yeah, and he keeps on running down this single file. In fact, those rocks are probably something in retrospect he should have taken out when he had map control. I agree. If he's going to go ground melee like this... Yeah, you probably want to take out all the rocks so that you can actually get better surface area. Generally speaking, into. the rocks benefit the player who has the more ranged units. Yeah. yeah. Um, and look, he's slowly pushing forward here. Look, Innovation's push is just too manly. Look at this. It is. This, is push, is, this push is made of balls. And uh, in no fact, question. these Ultras doing a great job against those Seed Shanks. And a great Fungal's actually going down, allowing the Ultras to deal a lot of damage to these Marines and the Seed Shanks as well. And suddenly, Symbol getting a great engagement here. Now, he did some nice targeting there on those Investors. Yeah. Uh, the supplies right now, 149 for our Terran, 158 for our Zerg. And another Command Center uh, being canceled there. So... That was a really big moment for Symbol. This is something he had to have happen, but he has to be careful here not to overextend because as armies get smaller, Terran becomes more powerful. You have to be really careful with these small groups of micro bull units. And now, remember, fact, there's no uh, fungal energy really here, uh, and there's no links in this army, so even though he won that attack, Symbol did it earlier. This one he's going to lose, and I don't know if a counterattack is even an option right now for uh, Symbol. It looks like Innovation is going to push yet again. Mm. I cannot believe how good innovation is. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, Symbol's having some good moves still, but there's one thing we're seeing with his ultras, or rather not seeing with his ultras, we've seen with a lot of other ultras, which is 
a lot of queens to heal him. All these ultras right now are oh, that's a very... Great yeah, they're very bruised. Oh, and he's going to lose his base, which means he has to kill his opponent's fort. He has to kill it right, right now. now. Okay, now, when these bailings get done, he might be able to do just and that. Look, he's ready for it because he knows the only way to really lose here is to lose this base. And, in fact, his unit's coming back. I don't think it's going to You know what? This basis. might be the final straw here for this game, yeah. please. This is, this is going to be he, it. I mean, uh, this was a insane game here. But, yeah, he just barely did it, and that's going to be GG. GG? Wow. Well, sick. all right, so to just sum up that game real quick, Tasteless, uh, Symbol started out playing better than we ever thought he would. He played fantastically, had great yeah. plans, great execution, but the innovation was like, oh, I'm in innovation. And he just came back. That was kind of like Symbol was like, um, all, what, all those Mr. Smiths in Matrix 2, yeah. and innovation was Neo. No, Innovation is the guy that made the Matrix. Oh, my bad. I yeah. always get my movie references no, messed up. <laughs> innovation <laughs> Innovation is all the robots that make the face at the end. Oh, God. Don't remind me of that. <laughs> Actually, I've like blocked some stuff, some stuff like that out of my memory. Like, I'm like, oh, God. Wasn't it cool when Neo was blind, but he could still see? <laughs> I really like that part. I like that part a lot. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my. All right, Tasis. Neo Planet has the second map. See what Symbol has planned here. Will he do some sort of a uh, roach? He does like roach, man. This is a mineral zerg right here, if there's ever been one. Sure. Um, I don't know. I mean, the real question is what, uh, how do you actually stop innovation? Because I don't really see it. Simply took three hatches there, giving him an econ lead early on versus innovation's quick command center. Yeah. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Innovation very strong. Indeed. All right, get ready. We're going on into game number two of our first round of eight here between Innovation and Symbol at GolfTV.net.